since um since this is a follow-up video um we're not going to be here long so here's the thing right Guillermo Rigondeaux fought on June the 17th the fight was ruled a no contest he's going to have to fight that guy again Vasil Lomachenko is fighting on August the 5th on ESPN his debut on ESPN also it's top ranks second fight on ESPN right now this is not Friday Night Fights this is something much bigger than, fr than Friday Night Fights. Let me go get my tea. I'm sorry this video is live but in order for us to have a productive video I have to get my tea. I'll be right back. So um, if you guys can hear me there's been some logic provider statement, some bullshit logic that has to be explained. Hold on I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. The thing is, it's like this, right? People are saying that that um, make it some uh, make it some tea. People are saying that um, I don't want to squeeze lemon juice in my eye. People are saying that um, Lomachenko was ducking Rigadal, or that you know he's fighting uh, Miguel uh, Mariaga on August the fifth on ESPN because he's afraid of Rigadal. And that he's ducking them. It's like this, right? We have so many boxing es experts and boxing gurus and everything. Have you heard of something called negotiations? Now, let's just do a little bit of quick math here. Hey, Siri. How many days from June 17th until August the 5th? It's 351 days until then. God damn it, you dumb bitch. Um, okay, what I meant is, <laughs> do, do, some, do some math, all right? That's not even two months. That's like, what, six and a half weeks or some shit? Six weeks, seven weeks or something? So you mean to tell me, right, right? As soon as Rigondeaux's fight was over, they was already supposed to have been in negotiations, you know, during his fight, during his buildup, during the Miguel uh, Mioza's fight, uh, Miguel Flores or... Or Moses Flores, forgot to pronounce his name. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't make sense. So now Rick and so now Lomachenko is being called the duck because he's fighting on August the 5th, a date, by the way, that probably was penciled in for him to return months ago. So therefore, you're telling him, or you're saying he should drop that date, right? Top Rank's brand new relationship with ESPN. He should drop that date and say, no, we're going to try to negotiate. Keyword, try to negotiate with Rickendow. Now, it's like this, right? You can't say that Lomachenko's ducking him. Not now. Even though it seems as though the management of Lomachenko, uh, Igus Klimas, who, by the way, is the manager of Kovalev, and if you don't know, Klimas and main events, and put it this way, they've had some issues with rock, working with Rock Nation. So it seems as though he just has no interest in it. But you can't say that now during this fight. If, if, if they go into negotiations or if they don't try to make this fight after this uh, Mariaga fight, then you can start saying somebody's ducking. But right now, I'm thinking, like, well, wait a minute. I've been going from boxing or not being consistent with boxing. Hold on. Oh, I'm watching the uh, Pavekin fight in the background. I've been not consistent with boxing for some time now to the point where it's like, yo, where was the education around here on the politics or, or, or how the sport of boxing works? Like the fight, August the 5th is not that far away. What? It's like a month away. So you mean to tell me they were supposed to have negotiations, right? And then what? Rick and Dow have like a five-week kick? Yeah, yeah, it makes no sense. I feel even stupider addressing it. And I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm really trying to fix my um, HD camera. You know, I'm really sorry, guys. I'm really trying to fix all this shit. But yo, you know, it just doesn't make sense. So people are saying Lomachenko is ducking and I'm thinking like, How? Like, the, the most simple logic is Rigondeaux fought on June the 17th. It's not like Lomachenko was like, oh, shit, we got to get a fight quick. You know, uh, let's fight on August the 5th. This is a brand new expensive venture that Top Rank is doing with ESPN. Rigondeau couldn't drop that. I mean, um, um, Lomachenko can't drop that date to say, okay, well, maybe we can get the uh, uh, Rigondeau fight. It just doesn't make sense, and I wonder where people be getting their information from, more so like the logic, but yet, y'all want to talk about how much boxers make, and 
you know, how people get low ball and everything, but yet you can't understand the simple politics of how fights are made? There has to be a whole negotiation period. And then not to mention, the biggest sticking point is the weight. How long would it take them to negotiate that shit? Oh, shit, we're back in this fucking this dude up. You know, so I have so many, you know, like different questions. Also, if you don't know, there was heavy negotiations and talks for Lomachenko to fight Orlando Salido. Lomachenko, I mean, Salido dropped out of negotiations because he's rumored to be fighting um, uh, Tank Davis on the undercard of Mayweather versus McGregor. So therefore, they're like, damn, we got to get somebody in there real quick because this date is right around the corner. So this Mariaga guy who just so happened gave uh, Alex Val um, Oscar Valdez the fight of his life. Or was it? I keep forgetting Valdez and Vadejo are confused. I'm sorry, but you know what I'm talking about. It's like this. It just doesn't. I I'm sorry. You know, I'm really, I really be trying to look at the logic of the way people be thinking. And the fact that this whole train of Lomachenko ducked rigging down for a fight that's going to happen in August. This just, where are y'all getting this shit? So once again, I can say that I understand where you guys are coming from as far as, you know, it's okay, put it this way. If something doesn't happen after this fight, then you can say somebody's ducking. But this is, it just makes no sense that somebody's ducking now. Somebody at my door? Hold on, I thought I was hearing somebody knock. I have to go, guys. Somebody's at my door. Um, I got to do a whole another video on this. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.